Good evening! Horror and chaos be to you in the name of Rooney Roos. Now, lunatics, welcome one another as I shall welcome you. Hi, hi! Howdy! It's Rooney Roos Day! The best day of the week, if I do say my so myself. Are you guys having a good Rooney Roos Day so far? I I am feeling a good bit better. Magna! I went to work today, <laughs> so there's that. Magna! Ooh, you got a rare one. It's that time again, Runetics. Happy Rooney Roos Day. A highlight of the week. Hope you're feeling a bit better, Rooney, and that Dr. Diz Studbug didn't take too much blood. Looking forward to discussing anime women and definitely not anime babies. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about anime babes today. The babes. But first. I want to check in with you guys, and then I do have a Hellcat story to tell you. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta tell you guys the Hellcat story. So, I, as you guys may or may not know, my cat got an injury on his paw over the weekend, and so he has to use this special litter made out of paper um, because he could risk getting an infection if he used like a clay type litter which is what he usually uses. And he can be a little picky. Uh, I can turn the BGM down. And he can be a little picky, but I thought that he was, I thought he was using the litter because he, pee he was peeing in it. So at first I thought, oh, okay, it's fine. Like he's gonna use the litter. He'll get used to it, right? But he hadn't been, he wasn't, he wasn't pooping in it. Now here's the thing, is he had also been under anesthesia and tanky and he'd been given pain meds, so sometimes those can make you constipated. So I wasn't too too worried about it at first, but when I got home from work today and he still had not pooped, I was like, there's something wrong here. He needs to poop. Why hasn't he pooped yet? And he was also, like, he looked clearly uncomfortable. He was, like, pacing and making these, like, noises. And I was like, oh, no, my poor baby. My poor baby. Use the litter box. Why are, why are you holding it? And I didn't know. I thought, okay, either something's wrong and I'm gonna need to take him back to the vet because he can't poop or he's just being really really stubborn oh did that get your cat to look at it <laughs> I thought either he's sick and constipated or I'm going to have to take or he's just being stubborn and he's not using he would pee in it, but he didn't, he just, maybe he just doesn't want to poop in the new litter. So, not a, no, it's not a bad summoning again. <laughs> oh, the dogs too, the dogs too. Or yeah, or it could have been both. But to be honest, I kind of suspected, I kind of suspected that maybe, you know, he was just holding it, okay? So I looked up online things that you can do to try and encourage your cat to poop. Uh, and there was a few different things like that I, I went ahead and did like, you know, only give them wet food and make sure they have like fresh water, try to get them to drink. But one of the other ones was like, just get them to exercise. If you can just <laughs> get them to exercise, you know, it might, you know, get, get the bowels moving, which I thought, okay, that makes sense. Uh, and my cat who, who who is constipated? He's not. He's not really the most like playful of cats. He doesn't really like to play all of that much. But sometimes I can get him going with the laser pointer. So I get out the laser pointer. <laughs> no, he's actually not fat. He's he's really not fat. Um, he's big. 
but he's perfectly, he's like average weight. Um, and so I get out the laser pointer and he was like in the bathroom. He was in my bathroom making all these noises. So I take the laser pointer and I start running it back and forth in the bathroom so the cat will chase it. And he was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in the mood, fortunately, he was in the mood. So he starts chasing the laser pointer. You guys. Like two laps, literally two laps with this laser pointer and he stops in the middle of what he is doing and takes the biggest poop on the floor that I have ever seen him take in his entire life. Literally the dam broke, like mid run. He could not hold it anymore. He was literally clenching his little butthole so hard because he didn't want to use the new litter. Like he, he was not sick, he was not constipated. He had to go. He was just holding it because he didn't want to use the new litter. <laughs> the second I got him running, it was over. He couldn't, he couldn't hold it anymore. <laughs> I, it was like, hey, I'm just glad, you know, that he didn't like do it somewhere secret, you know? Because he could have just been a butthole and like pooped under my bed or like somewhere else. And I would have just been like, where's the smell and had to look for it. He was actually trying to hold it because he knew he wasn't supposed to poop outside of the litter box, but he, but he didn't want to poop in the litter box. So he was just like, I don't, and that's probably why he was screaming at me. He was like, mom, what do I do? Mom, mom, give me my, give me my other, give me my other litter. Also there, you got, you guys are so lucky today. Briefcakes. Happy Rainy Rose Day! Watched the first episode of the Blue Archive anime today and enjoyed it quite a bit. Ready to start Konosuba Season 3 soon. Now I'm prepped for today's chat that will hopefully feature some much needed Marine Kitagawa appreciation. Hmm, hmm, we'll have to see. We'll have to see! We, we have a lot of anime babes to talk about. <laughs> laser pointer, just like me for real. <laughs> Do I need to get the laser pointer out to encourage you to go number two? Huh? Is, is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> just like many kids at camps who are homesick. Yeah, they're just, they're just holding it for no reason. <laughs> Speaking of Konos- EXPLOSION! <laughs> yeah, so, but, but this isn't even the end of the story, you guys. So while this, while this Hellcat takes the biggest dump I've ever seen <laughs> in the middle of my bathroom floor. My other cat, he had been observing, he had been observing this behavior from atop the bathroom counter. Uh, you know, just, just, just overseeing it. <laughs> so not long, like I literally am about to go get the stuff to clean up my one cat's poop. And the other cat starts to gag. And I'm like, no. And then he vomits. But it's like he's up high, and so he like projectile vomits. All over the floor. I think the smell got to him. Yeah, he was disgusted. He was absolutely disgusted. It was a chain reaction. You guys want to know something even worse? <laughs> Rest in peace, your dinner. Sorry. <laughs> you want to know something even worse? Guess what I did this weekend? No, I didn't vomit. Hey, my ick factor is so messed up. To be honest, neither of those things really gross me out. No. You, do you guys know what I what I did this weekend? Clean the floors, that's right. That's right. I cleaned my bathroom literally ceiling to floor. B disinfectant bleach cleaned it spotless. It was beautiful. Beautiful. And then here I was today <laughs> disinfecting my bathroom floor again. Yeah, spring cleaning. Yeah, I had to do it again. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is classic cat behavior. 
This is a cat's prerogative. Is to wait just until you've got something perfectly, beautifully clean and then just mess it up. Crazy! So yeah, that is that is my crazy that is my Hellcat story of the day. Yeah, they did wait until I felt a little bit better. That's true. I'm still I don't know. I still I'm still feeling a little bit bit bit. I mean they're peeing in the they are peeing in the litter box. The other the cat who vomited, he's pooping and peeing in the litter box. He he's fine with it. It's just my injured cat, the one that actually needs to use the paper litter box that has decided he doesn't want to poop in it. I don't know what we are going to do from here because it's only day three and he has to use the paper litter for ten days. <laughs> so my guess is he's probably gonna poop in my bathroom again. <laughs> Yes, the, he is fussy. He, he's a fussy little dude. Gotta live outside. Oh god, he wouldn't survive one day. He's such a mama's boy. He literally would not survive. If you, if you guys could have just seen him today, he was so pitiful because he was constipated. Like he was he was literally just like screaming and like pacing the bathroom and looking up at me like mom. And I did, I did, I did help him. <laughs> I made him run that poop right out. <laughs> he got, he got run runner's poop. Wait, can you guys hear him right now? He's actually screaming right now at me. <laughs> I don't know if my mic picked that up or not. You did, you did hear him. Yeah, that was him. <laughs> he better not need more help. There's no way there is more poop in him. There's no way. You guys, egregious amount of poop came out of this cat. There is no way there is more poop in him. There's no way. He did just walk into my bathroom though, and that does make me nervous. What are you doing in there, baby? <laughs> yeah, he did. He's mad I shared this story. He's like, oh, Mom, you're embarrassing me in front of the runatics. <sighs> Now he's all mad at me. Not round two. I have an air freshener going in my room now. Uh, I don't think... I mean, I cleaned it all up. And I put it in the outside trash can. So I think it's like one of those mental things. that My room probably doesn't smell, but I feel like I can smell it, you know? So I put on this uh, eucalypt eucalyptus uh, air diffuser thing. That actually smells really good. It literally smells so good. You have to give me more attention. Baby, come here. No. Oh, you wanna know where he's going now? He's going towards his litter box. Maybe he's giving up. <laughs> Maybe he'll actually use it now. <laughs> Eucalypsis. Is that, am I not saying it right? I think I heard him get into it. He could just be going to pee though. Oh, he's definitely in there. I can hear him in there. <laughs> but he might just be, he might just be in there to pee. This is, this is your exciting, riveting play-by-play -play of my cat's bowel movements. <laughs> eucalyptus. That's what I said, eucalyptus? Y eucalyptus. Is that not what I said? Eucalyptus? Eu Eucalypsis? Euca... Eucalypse? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. However I said it is correct. No, it's ukulele? What would a ukulele scented... 
essential oil smell like? What would a ukulele essential oil smell like? Hibis hibiscus, maybe? Oh, wood. <laughs> yeah, it would, smell, it would smell like wood. <laughs> it would smell like driftwood and... Uh, <laughs> and... <laughs> hibiscus. Like a renaissance fair. I've only ever been to a renaissance fair one time. It was pretty fun though. I enjoyed it. I would go back. I would go to another one. It was hot though. It was really hot. Yeah, I, I, re I thought it was fun. There wasn't a lot of food that I could eat. <laughs> My options were like fried fish and french fries. <laughs> it was like the only foods there I could eat. It was hot because I was there. <gasps> oh, you know, I wasn't gonna say it because I'm very humble, but yeah. It was hot because I was there. <laughs> I love fish and chips though, that's true. I really do like fish and chips. I don't eat turkey, so I couldn't eat the giant turkey legs. But it was fun. I thought all the musical acts were fun. They had a lot of like trade workshops, which I thought was really cool. Where basically they were doing things like the very old fashioned way, like um, sewing and uh, like basket weaving and, and stuff like that, which I was like, oh, this is really interesting. I like, I like learning about that kind of stuff. So I thought that was fun. But then there was also just a lot of, like, I guess I didn't realize... I thought it was all gonna be like a bunch of history nerds, and it was definitely a bunch of history nerds. My cat is literally losing his mind right now. I think he feels free now that he's got all that poop out of him. Now he's running around being a, a wacko. Um, there was like, mermaids? And fairies? And, and pirates. <laughs> Can you guys hear him running? He's crazy right now. Yeah, it's his post poop zoomies. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't have minded the history nerds. I mean, I didn't mind any of them. I was just surprised because I thought it would all be history nerds. And it was, it was a lot of like fantasy stuff too. There was definitely people like, uh, like cosplaying like, I don't like a tiefling from D and D stuff like that that I didn't expect. Moving on, I'm still waiting on what you would desire in a personal mech for yourself. You can get back to me on it, same username on also. Yeah, I'm sorry I haven't thought about it yet. I haven't thought about it yet. Yeah, he, he, feeling 10 pounds lighter? Babes, I think he is 10 pounds lighter. <laughs> I think I scooped 10 pounds of poop off my floor. <laughs> <laughs> Literally egregious. Fantasy tends medieval influence. That's true, that's true. But I guess I think of it more the other way around. Does that make sense? Like if I think, oh, like if there was like a fantasy festival, right? I would think, oh, there's probably gonna be a lot of medieval stuff there. Because as you said, fantasy tends medieval influence. But, not, but when I thought, oh, this is a renaissance fair, I guess my brain went to like, oh, this is going to be very historical, they're going to be sticklers for accuracy, we're gonna learn history, and things like that. It's gonna be like immersive. And it was definitely not that. In fact, I would say there was more there was more fantasy stuff than historical stuff. There was there was jousting, but I didn't get to see the jousting. I missed the jousting. It seemed like a good time though. A bit of column A, a bit of ladies. Oh, there were so many corsets. <laughs> there were so many corsets. <laughs> Do you guys want to know what I wore to the <laughs> to the Renaissance Fair? <laughs> does your cat does your cat announce the victory over its dump? Mine does that every time she goes. It's like she's screaming about this horrible thing she made. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> No, he's, us he's usually very silent about it. 
A blouse and trousers. Wait, your cats all do that? Yeah? Was I Gimli? <gasps> Gollum, I wish. You know what? Next time I'm gonna be a hobbit. Next time I'm literally gonna be a hobbit. No, I wore a tracksuit. <laughs> the memo <laughs> I didn't get the memo <laughs> I wore a tracksuit it was a cute tracksuit though uh and then and then my friends made the joke that I look like I'd been isekai <laughs> into the fantasy world <laughs> yeah I did I felt like Su Subaru I felt like I had is isekai <laughs> into the fantasy world <laughs> <laughs> it it was hot, but the I don't know the tracksuit that I wore. It's like very light fabric, uh, so it wasn't it wasn't that hot. I don't think it would have. It definitely wouldn't have been any hotter than the costumes everybody else was wearing. Fan artists, you know what to do. Oh no, oh no, fan artists, don't draw me in my in my <laughs> don't draw me in my tracksuit. Oh no! <laughs> Please don't draw me in my tracksuit. Ah, Hazukashi. <laughs> that's called naked at fairs. Oh, I was naked then. Yeah. Then I, if if that's the slang, then I was naked. Hmm. Yeah, give me the Boti treatment. So, I think that's a lot of uh, tangent off topic. How about how about we we get on topic for tonight? What do you think? You're the perfect height for a Hobbit. They're canonically five. No, they're not. <laughs> Are you crazy? Even the tallest hobbits in history were not 5'3. I'm trying I'm trying to remember how tall P Pippin and Mary got. I think they only got to like 4'7, right? Let me let me look it up. See now I need to know. See now the, the tangent must continue. <laughs> the tangent must continue. How tall did Mary and Pippin get? Uh, let's see. They ended up between four, uh, four foot five and four foot six, and were the tallest hobbits to ever live. So, uh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. My brain was working. <laughs> I usually go German or Italian, fifteenth or sixteenth century. Oh, to, to the fairs? Oh, that's cool. Are you into like the historical garb? I think I like, I like, uh, because I like sewing, I do f have interest in historical fashion. I used to be really into it when I was, uh, much, much younger. <laughs> I, wait, me and some of my friends actually started a, a history club <laughs> at my school. <laughs> Which is funny, now that I'm older, I feel like history is definitely one of my least favorite subjects. But I'm only, the thing is, is I'm only interested in history if it's the history of something that I was already interested in. So if it's like war history, I'm sorry, I'm not that interested in war, I just do, simply do not care. But if it's the history of dressmaking, now I'm in. You've got me. I'm hooked. I do want to know. I'm very interested. So... Four six, huh? So you without your heels lies, slander, inaccurate, you foolish, foolish creature. Open your eyes. Wrong. Wrong. So you a historic minion <laughs> costume? I have, I did, uh... I did uh, sew a little bit the other day, and I haven't sewn in so freaking long. 
because I've just been way too busy, so it actually felt really nice. I bought this dress the other day. It was like a few weeks ago, and it was really, really cute, but it came in just a little bit too big, so I needed to take it in some. And so I finally got the time, yes, no, two days ago? I forget when I did it. No, yeah, it was, yeah, it was yesterday, it was Monday. And I, and I took the dress in. Oh, I'm already done. The progress is done. I took, I, it is done. I took in the dress. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I can show it to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> My cats do not let me do sewing of any sort. I need to lock them out of the room to sew a button. Oh, I have to do the same thing. I have like a cat gate. I have a gate that my cats can't get through for when I was, um, for when I'm sewing. Okay, so tangent off of that. Do you think it's weird that I find women's Victorian clothes kind of attractive? Not sure if that comes across as strange. I, I find them attractive. I definitely do. Uh, I, I find... Uh, some older men's fashions to be very attractive too, but yeah, I don't I don't think that's I don't think that's odd at all Well, and I think too There's a lot of like romance movies that are set in like the Regency period, right? So I feel like people think like associate Regency dress with romance and beauty and love So I think it's very natural to find that cut of dress on a woman to be very romantic too it's super fun to get the gang together and go in period dress. Would highly recommend going as a mercenary band <laughs> of Landsnit uh, and getting sloshed. I might go as a pirate next time. Because I didn't realize that I could just go as like a fictional pirate. But I saw a lot of pirates there. So I, I think maybe next time I go, I'm going to go as a pirate. <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't show up in, in buggy cosplay. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> you, <laughs> you guys don't think I would do that, right? Surely not. Surely, surely not. <laughs> would Perona? <laughs> oh, would I be Perona? Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, I could be Perona. Why not? No, Perona's gonna be like the parrot on my shoulder. <laughs> Wait, there you go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'll dress Perona up as a parrot. Get linen for the clothes. I like linen. Mm. Yeah, I like linen. It's good for. It's good for the summer. I am not completely sure I believe that, but surely not, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. I followed that 100%. Yeah, let's do it. Mm. The Pirate Queen? No. Hm. Now, are you guys going to keep me going off on tangents? Or do you guys not... Want to talk about anime babes? Is that what's happening here? <gasps> Wait, I could cosplay Marine. I actually would do that. 100% I would show up to a Renaissance fair, dress up like Marine. 100% I would. <laughs> Ahoy! <laughs> mm. Yeah, I would do that. Do you think anyone would recognize that cosplay at a at a renaissance fair? <laughs> Aren't your days meant for yap? That's true. Yeah, we're yapping. We're yapping. Yeah, you think they would? Or surely not. Probably. <laughs> but then you'd have to act lewd. <laughs> Me? I don't think I'll have a problem with that. As you guys know, I'm very, very degenerate. Uh, very sexy, mature, older woman. I exude lewdness at all times. So, that should be a walk in the park for me. No issue at all. <laughs> Impossible? Adorkable? Ha ha? I 
At least you tried and that's what counts. <laughs> what the heck? That hurts. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts. <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> yeah, and then I go and give you guys a Toskaru you don't even deserve. Gets flustered by AI buggy. <laughs> ah! One day I really am. You know what? I'll plan. I'll plan a stream where we can we can talk to AI characters together. Maybe we can talk to <laughs> AI buggy together on stream. And then you guys can watch me argue with him. <laughs> we we could pick we could pick other characters too. I could talk to AI Hina and AI Amy because I've seen I've seen them doing that. Plot twist: You are the Marine Sakana Sat. <laughs> no, that's Irie. Sakana wants Irie to be Marine. Sakana hired me to be evil, evil, heinous, wicked. Hm. You know it's true. <laughs> AI Hina is the Mina we need. Is AI Hina mean? Do you think I can? Uh, do you think I could riz AI Hina? Now that now that would be a fun stream. He should fire you then. What, what the heck? I... Evil at home? I, I go... I, I've been sick. Yet I stream. I, I get home from work. I barely am able to eat dinner because I have to clean up poop and cat vomit. And then I get on stream. And this, this is, this is, this is how you treat me? How have you been evil lately? Well... I... <laughs> I privated yesterday's stream because I didn't like it. So I think that was kind of evil. <laughs> <laughs> it is... <laughs> it is... Yeah, see, I'm very evil. I'm so evil. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> no. Welcome to membership, Enzo. Thank you for joining. <laughs> you didn't stream yesterday. Yeah, exactly. I didn't stream yesterday. Yeah, I didn't stream yesterday. <laughs> Free the stream. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait. Wait, so no DMC this week? Yeah, no DMC this week. I might gorilla it. We'll see we'll see how I feel later in the week. I might I might go gorilla. I don't know though, because I'm already streaming twice on Saturday. Cause oh uh I didn't announce it on my schedule. Um, because we hadn't picked out the time quite yet, but I will be over on Lumi's channel. I don't- I think on Twitch? But I'm gonna be, uh, having a little yap collab over there. So look forward to that. That'll probably be sometime Saturday morning. Rooney didn't stream yesterday? That's what I get for taking my meds! <laughs> Return the VOD. I overslept and I don't know what happened. And you shall not know. <laughs> you shall not be. Bass. I'm gonna go to the Renaissance Fair as Gandalf. That's actually what I really want to do. And I want to blow smoke rings. That's what I want to do. I guess I could do that as a Hobbit too. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to get a get a fake beard. 
<laughs> yeah, wait, I can be the meme. Have you guys seen the meme going around? And it's, it's, it, it's Gandalf, but he just has the humongous boobs. His boobs are just out, like they're huge. Yeah, I'll get, yeah, I'll be that, I'll be that Gandalf. <laughs> you, you guys haven't seen that? Wait, let me see if I can find it and show it to you. I wonder what they call it, like Gandalf, Big Naturals, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you, am I gonna get, de am I gonna get demonetized for this? Let's find out. Oh, you're good? You don't actually want to see it? You don't want to see it? Okay. I mean, I get that. You don't want to see it. I understand. Um, I'm going to show you anyways, because I'm evil. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Can we talk about my favorite anime babes, Rin Tosaka, and this other girl <laughs> you may have never heard about? Rhymes with Looney Loose! You mean Rooney Roots? You can't possibly mean that. <laughs> Honestly, it <laughs> would. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you guys haven't seen this. Does it hurt your eyes? Here, have another one. This is Gandalf the White for you. <laughs> I mean, after two or three drinks. I don't think it's AI. I think it's just uh, Photoshop. I think someone's just Photoshopping it. All right, all right, you guys, which one? Gandalf the Gray or Gandalf the White? You must choose now. <laughs> it's not Saruman. It's Saruman. As he should have been. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to quote. <laughs> Don't boo me right now. Don't you dare. Don't you dare boo me right now. <laughs> Good lord. I come back with a coffee from the kitchen and my screen is plastered with this. What a nice view. You're welcome. Should we do a poll? Okay. All right. <laughs> Why are you guys throwing tomatoes at me? <laughs> Which? Gandalf the Grey? Gandalf the White. All right, well, let's see. Let's see who you're taking home from the club. <laughs> Is this my punishment for tuning in, Rude? Mwah. Now it's all better. You're welcome. What the F did I walk into? Has this been the full stream? I feel like I should be surprised, but also I'm not. The middle one, Ganduni the pink. <gasps> I'm Gandalf the pink. You can abstain. Why is it like 50-50 right now? I swear, I swear, if you guys 50-50 this poll, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if someone edited this into the movies like the Harry Potter one with guns. Oh my gosh, I hope they did. I hope they did. Miss Rooney Ruse, there was a Nikki stream earlier today that had a character that reminded me of you. Can you confirm if you are or are not the Walmart Great Value Dorothy? I believe that what you encountered today was the Walmart Great Value Rooney Ruse, and you better get it straight. I don't know who Dorothy is, but I will grind her to a pulp, okay? How dare you. The middle Gandalf has the smallest th <laughs> That's true. I cannot compete. I cannot compete with Gandalf's <laughs> big naturals. Gan double D off would. <laughs> middle Gandalf petan. I, I 
I'm not Peton, but compared to com compared to these, then yeah, I am kind of Peton. <laughs> not the calcium cannons. Actually, I really hate that. I actually hate that. I'm gonna forget that you ever said that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'll free chat again. <laughs> Gandalf is stacked. None. Of, yeah. No, nobody can compare. Nobody can compare. It is heinous. I agree with you. It's heinous. <laughs> Titanic tatas. Titanic tatas. <laughs> so you're just gonna park those there? <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. Um, Perona was getting tired of being seen. She she wanted some privacy behind, you know, Gandalf the Grey. No, Ga listen, Gan Double D off has no problem riding horses because you know his steed is the king of horses, Shadowfax, and Shadowfax is so powerful, this is not hard for him at all. Oh, you mean hard for him because maybe they're bouncy? No, it's okay. He'll, stra he'll strap him down. He'll strap him down. This is propaganda. I just don't know if it's pro or anti Saruman. <laughs> these, are, these are big naturals. You know if it was Saruman, he would have... They would be fake. Gandalf has big naturals. Sar Saruman has big fake tits. Manufactured tits. You see? <laughs> yeah, implants, 100%. <laughs> I don't make the rules, that's just lore appropriate. That's not me being crazy, that's just accurate characterization of the beloved characters Gandalf and Saruman. <laughs> Saruman pats his chest, crying emoji. <laughs> Saruman. <laughs> Somebody photoshopped Saruman's volunteer grasping hand on one. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Well, at least we finally got on topic. Because, I mean, if the, these aren't anime babes, I don't know what is. <laughs> Imagine this edited with every Lord of the Rings character. It, there, it probably is, man. It probably exists. <laughs> That'll be on Twitter soon enough. <laughs> 40 minutes. No anime babes. Okay, fine. Should, we, should Okay, fine. Let's get on topic. <sighs> you guys keep distracting me! Today we are doing something important. We're talking about anime babes. Woo! Also, it's basically half and half, so I guess you guys are taking both of them home. First detailed cat poop report. Now Gandalf the Grey's gazongas. I hate it here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> now. I, I have selected some of my some of my waifus for this. You guys know I really like Robin, I really like Colin, I really like Aqua, and I really like Amelia. Uh, there are some other waifus I couldn't fit on there, because I also obviously Ritsuko, obviously Bulma. Um What 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 do you guys have any any anime waifus, any anime babes that you're really hoping to see today? That's true, that is a lot of blue eyes. I never thought about that. Maybe I do like blue eyes on women. Maybe I do. Bulma has blue eyes too. Ritsukos are brown though. Rei Ayanami? <laughs> Echidna, Cheryl, Albedo. Uh, Utena, really? I, I like, I like Utena. I guess I don't think of her as like an anime babe. I guess she is. Yeah, I mean, I guess she is. Makima. Makise. Yoruichi Misato, Freerin, your forger. Yoko from Gurren Lagan. Um, Vlad Milis, <laughs> Bloody Regina. $5 on Deedlit from Record of Lotus War. <laughs> 
Did I miss Spicy Gandalf? 11 out of 10, but he's no Rooney. <gasps> Well, I can't- I can't believe someone would compare me favorably over... Gan Double D Off. Today, I'm... Are you guys trying to be nicer to me now after being so mean to me earlier? You're gonna get me whiplash! I'm gonna get- my neck hurts. My neck hurts from this whiplash. Ishika Iroha, my beloved. <laughs> oh, Rukia? Yes, very high praise. It's very, very, very high praise. Yeah. So, we'll, you, we'll just have to see which anime babes we get into today. Wait. Hold on. Now I can do my weekly super Happy Rooney Ruse Day. I, I wish to put in a not exactly anime character. I submit Ruan Mei from Honkai Star Rail. Oh, I don't know any of the characters from Honkai Star Rail. But, but wait a minute. Wait, do you guys see this? What what is that? Violet Evergarden? What? Do you guys are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Mock Krillin all you want. He ended up with DVC's best wife. Krillin? really did luck out. I mean, I'm more of a Bulma girl, but... <laughs> the, pi the, the pink thing in the corner. No, 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 there's something. Is that... Is that an eye? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh! Oh, there's an eye there. Oh, B A B I E S. Oh no. Oh no. That that can't be right. That can't be right. I mean, I planned a whole stream. I planned a whole stream for, for, for <laughs> you're leaving now. I mean, okay, wait, cause let's see, let's see. I mean, I, I don't want to be a liar on my schedule. I literally put out a schedule, right? <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> you want your $5 back? No, cause I, I put out a schedule, right? What does the schedule say? Let's talk about anime bit. Uh oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <gasps> wait a minute. Wow. Well, I don't want to be a liar. There's nothing I can do now. I don't want to be a liar. I clearly put in both the thumbnail and on my schedule that we're talking about anime babies. And it would be... It would be... You know... It would just be wrong for me to then not talk about anime babies. Wow. Well, uh, I guess I have to throw out the entire stream that I planned. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't think anyone noticed. If anyone noticed, they didn't say anything. <laughs> I have to throw out the whole stream that I planned. Pretty sure that's a compression artifact. It's not here. Clearly, it's not here. Why are you throwing tomatoes? It's not my fault. Orc baby incoming? I mean, if we're talking about anime babies, we're gonna have to talk about orc baby. <laughs> You'll answer for your crimes one day. <laughs> oh, I'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> Came here for anime waifus, got surprise attacked by pocket bees! Classic evil woman moment. Thanks for the great but short stream. Didn't think it'd be Gandalf focus, but see you next time. <laughs> this woman... <laughs> Your pain delights me! Your pain delights me! <laughs> Alright everybody, let's talk about anime babies! Woo! <laughs>
<laughs> अरे <laughs> Did someone say babies? That's right, baby buggy. We're talking about anime babies. Uh, somehow you didn't make the list. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby buggy. You didn't make the list. <laughs> you ever wonder why we're here? Because you like to suffer? I already knew that. Because you're big, fat, ems. Unlike me. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Muppet babies making dreams come true. Oh my gosh, I so should have put the Muppet babies on here. I didn't. I mean, I, I was I was focusing anime babies, so Muppets didn't make it. But I do love the Muppet babies. You guys have no idea how much I like the, the Muppet babies. Uh, per perhaps I am wanting to be a mother today. So th this is this is how this is going to work. So we're gonna talk about a few different anime babies, and I'm gonna decide if I would keep this baby or if I would put them up for adoption. <laughs> so we will be assigning. We'll either be putting the baby in its beautiful little crib, not baby crocodile, goo goo mugiwara, goo goo mugiwara. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, you crazy baby. <laughs> Utica needs help with hers. Yeah, I should have included Utica's cubs in here. That actually would have been really funny. Yeah, we'll either be putting them in their crib and keeping them, or they'll go up for adoption. We better at least mention Beezlebub. Okay, you know what? Let's get right into it then. Starting with Beezlebub! I think Beezlebub is a good little lad. Yeah? I, I had to censor. I had to censor Beezlebub. <laughs> the thing is, is uh, he doesn't like to wear clothes. <laughs> it, it's Baby Bell. Wait, I forget what his full name is. Cause his, his full name is like Ar Artorion something. <laughs> I I forget. <laughs> wait, did I just wait? Forget that. <laughs> forget that and <laughs> say that. <laughs> For this week's theme, keep or yeet. Yeah, that's one way to say it. We're gonna keep it or yeet, yeet it. I thought we were all friends here after bonding again over Gan Double D off. I feel betrayed. Actual evil woman. My heart is in pieces. Don't worry. I, I'll never, I'll never subject you to more than you can handle. I'll never ask the impossible. I'll simply push you to your very, very furthest, furthest brinks. And then I'll reel you back with joy and comfort. So relax, you'll be fine. Trust me. Sorry, Rooney. It's too early for me to have a baby. I'm going to grab some bread in the convenience store. Be right back. You're never coming back. You're never coming back. All right. Beezlebub? This is an evil baby. Also, he's naked. Also, he's cute. I like the green hair. Uh... I don't know. Be Beezle Beezlebub stays. I would absolutely. What do you guys do you think? Would you would you would you adopt Beezlebub? I would. Yeah, keep he's rad. Yeah, baby Beal is pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Not baby Zoro. <laughs> Honestly, smarter than Zoro. <laughs> Rooney's thighs make up for it. See. What did I say? Yeah, yeah, you guys just didn't read the schedule well enough. <laughs> you guys would yeet? Why would you yeet? <gasps> Y'all are crazy for that. You don't trust that demon as far as you can throw it. I could fix baby Beal. <laughs> it's not a nose, it's a pacifier, silly. It's a pacifier. But even if it was his nose, I think it would be adorable. Mwah. Mwah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baby. 
Baby goes in the crib, we've adopted him. Yay! Congratulations! You've become a parent! <laughs> to the devil! <laughs> Not like this. Let's do, let's do something more recent. These are the babies from Oshinoko. Aqua and Ruby. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like Oshinoko, but these are some cute freaking babies. They're cute freaking babies. Oh, what's his full name? Hold on, let me look it up again. Because I forget. Uh, Beazle Bub full name. It's like something, something, Beazle Bub the fourth. A Kaiser de Imperana Beezlebub the fourth. <laughs> there you go. Here's the thing. Here's the thing: is these babies are definitely cursed. Have you seen the manga leaks? Uh, yeet them. I dropped the manga pretty early on, so I haven't seen the anime at all. I read the manga up until. Basically, they've grown up and they're both going into acting and then the boy is like, I'm gonna find my dad and kill him. That's when I dropped it. Um, I do plan to separate them. I do plan to separate them. Ruby? Ruby, I feel, I feel bad for her. Listen. She, she had cancer in her first life and... Then she had to see her precious mother die. I do feel bad for her. I want her to just be able to be an idol and be happy. We're gonna put her over here. I'm sorry. I'm 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 sorry. I'm sorry, Aqua. You're up for adoption. <laughs> I'm separating them. Aqua's up for adoption. <laughs> Someone else can take that baby. <laughs> <laughs> Aqua catching no breaks. Yeah. To, I I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you. I don't want a grown man in a baby's body. Regardless of any other circumstances, I don't want I don't want a grown man in a baby's body. I don't. I don't want that. So he's gotta get yeeted. <laughs> Ruby keep Aqua Yeet. <laughs> Baby fever hitting you hard. Please tell me you haven't been looking at that catalog. <laughs> that was for Dizzy. That was for Dizzy. And I, I don't need I don't need to anymore because you guys have been spoiling me with Baby Buggy and Baby Crocodile. <laughs> so I don't need to go crazy with Baby Fever. Eat them both? Nope, I've already decided. I keep, I keep baby aqua. Let's talk about baby Nell. Baby Nell from Bleach. Then what is this stream? It's just talking about anime babies. Baby Nell is what I like to call a nasty little baby. She's so annoying. She's snotty. She's loud. She's got some weird teeth. She turns into a full-grown lady. <laughs> I guess technically she was a full-grown lady first and then turned into the baby. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big Baby Nell fan. I'm not a big Baby Nell fan. I'm gonna yeet her. I'm actually so surprised so many people are saying keep. Really? You guys would keep? You would keep her? Absolutely not. She's a yeet for me. <laughs> keep it, please? <laughs> You'll take her in the custody battle? No, you can just... Sh I'm not fighting you. She's up for adoption. Come get her. 
She's up for adoption. <laughs> She's a ride or die. <laughs> it's fine. You know, so someone will adopt her, I'm sure. She's... I don't know. Ba Baby Nell doesn't do it for me. I'm eating her. Unsubscribed, unmembered, unfollowed, do not recommend, never seen a take so wrong from you. <laughs> Give her to me. I'll take her away from the. Okay, fine. You know what? Okay, fine. Chat, you're. She's yours. Congratulations. You can have her. <laughs> are you ha are you happy now? Acceptable? <laughs> Yippee! You guys better raise her well. <laughs> now you can put her up for adoption. <laughs> You will raise this child as a menace to society. She's already a menace to society. Every time she opens her mouth in the anime, she's a menace. Congratulations, you're a father now. <laughs> we are not heartless, you evil woman. <laughs> then your job is done? You'll be the fun uncle instead. Acceptable. I don't want to be a mother yet, Rooney. Well, you guys pitched a fit, and you you wanted you wanted now, so that's what you get, Brunatics. This is what you asked for. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't find a picture of the two of them separated, so Ruby does have a little bit of Aqua's hair. <laughs> All right. Next, baby. I cannot believe that people are saying yeet right now. I cannot believe that people are saying yeet right now. Are you guys crazy? You guys wanted to keep baby Nell and you're gonna yeet baby trunks? What is wrong with you? He's half Vegeta yeet. What is this Vegeta, Vegeta slander in my chat right now? Don't, don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. You're perfect. Mwah. You're perfect. This is a no-brainer. This is a keep. 100%. <laughs> you must eat him to make him stronger. No! <laughs> if anyone hurts baby trunks, I nuke the earth. I feel the same. I feel the same. Vegeta, I hardly even... <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. It's gotta end in, like, ER. You're with me on this one? Thank you. Everybody really is. The people saying yeet, they're just... Uh, they're just being... What do you call it? What do you call it when someone's just, like, disagreeing for the sake of disagreeing? I will not tolerate this drunk slander in chat. Contrarian, thank you. They're just being contrarians. Cause they know that Baby Trunks is a national treasure. <laughs> yeah, they're just mad they don't have those luscious purple locks. <laughs> Baby Trunks can withstand a few yeets, but that doesn't mean he deserves them. To be fair, early Vegeta would yeet to make him stronger. Scions, us, uh, scions and all that. You're not. But, uh, but we are not science. We... <laughs> we are good parents. We are good parents. And so we, we adopt... We adopt... 
We keep baby trunks. I I will find I will find a better a better way to make him stronger. I'll make him stronger with motherly love. Trust me, it'll work. Keep trunks. <laughs> I'll take the pink one in the middle. Hey, I'm not up for adoption. Get out of here. Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> it doesn't work for Gohan. But then, but then we can do the, we can do. We can go, we can go Piccolo method. You separated twins, good parents. They're so, it'll be fine. Trust me, they'll get over it. <laughs> no, yeah, I might be Chi Chi. I'd rather be Bulma, but I, I guess I could be Chi Chi, but I'd rather be a Bulma. Is Rooney starting her own Promise Neverland? No. No. Main timeline Trunks is cringy. No! <laughs> Embrace the cringe. <laughs> I love cringy Trunks. <laughs> I'm not gonna say he's not cringe, but I love cringy Trunks. Cradle Snatcher Rooney. I have done no cradle snatching. I have procured all of these babies in completely uh, le legal, legal ways. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> all right, next up. Is that, is that crazy baby from Spirited Away? His name is Bo. <laughs> yeet, yeet, yeet. <gasps> There's so many <laughs> yeet like crazy. <gasps> I cannot believe there's so many yeets in the chat right now. You can all agree on this? But he turns out to not really be so bad a baby. He's just been, he's just been spoiled. He just hasn't learned properly how to how to be a nice kid. Yeet like I've never done so before. Yeet into the sun, he will eat me out of home. Now that's true. He is an ugly baby, but he's so cute. He's ugly in the cute way. He's ugly like like a pug. <laughs> he's so cute. He's so cute. The government doesn't want you to know this. But the babies at the park are free. You can just take them. It's true. No babies are ever cute. Oh, I'm gonna prove you on. I'm gonna prove you wrong because I got some cute babies lined up. I've got some babies here that are so cute. Like there's not you. You're not gonna be able to. You're not gonna be able to say they're not cute. He's a cute chubby baby. No, don't punt the baby. He looks like you a little. <gasps> Papa! Papa! <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't care what you guys say. We're keeping this baby. We're, we're keeping this baby. Are you happy? <laughs> yeah, it's called democracy. Yeah, I I voted and I decided. <laughs> no, it's a dictatorship. No, it's a democracy. In my defense, I actually never said we were deciding. I said I would be deciding if I'm keeping or eating. Fine, we can keep it. But I'm gonna go get cigarettes. Uh, you're not allowed to smoke around baby. 
So no, you're not gonna get cigarettes. You're gonna sit your butt on the couch. Okay. And listen to the baby monitor while I go about my business. Can't believe Fishman hired an actual kidnapper into the fold. He would never do that. <laughs> it's a runocracy. Yeah, it's a runocracy. There are no kidnapped babies in Bossing Say. Yeah, get with the times, people. It's a runocracy. Can't believe chat wanted the terror that is Nell, <laughs> but don't want these much more tolerable babies. I know, they're crazy. They've lost it. Wait, we're babysitting? I've got plans. Uh, we'll cancel them. So this is how Liberty dies. With ugly babies. Well, it had to die somehow. Sorry, I just realized we're out of milk. I'm going to the store. See you in two decades. I will hunt you down. I'm just saying, your life will be easier if you don't try to run away. Should we, should we, should we look at the next baby? <laughs> you and escaped convict Dizzy can team up. There's, I mean, there's a lot of criminals actually in Face Connect. Cause Miss Leah is also a criminal and so is Miss Lumi. All criminals. Do you add babysitter to your job descriptions? Sure. <laughs> but you already have jobs and you're never getting a different job. So it doesn't really matter. No, there's not a raise included. Are you crazy? Yeah, oh yeah, Punko is also a thief. So there's a lot of criminals. Technically, I'm a thief too, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of specifically thieves in Face Connect. That's strange. Because I'm technically a thief too. Yeah, fatherhood is its own payment. Thank you, exactly. <laughs> you stole a pin once? Wow, you should join Face Connect. You should apply for Gen 4. I can't bring unauthorized babies in the office. Well, good thing I authorized all these babies. The favoritism is gonna be crazy in that crib. <laughs> be right back, I'm going to get some milk. We have all the milk we need, okay? We have Gan Double D off. I'm homies with Gan Double D off. We don't need any milk. Sit down. I got it covered. <laughs> the face cartel stealing babies and our hearts. <laughs> yeah, you stole our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard milk doesn't have enough calcium to support a growing baby. Wrong. Warned. You were you all were sentenced to penal labor in face. Wait, you might be on something. You might be on to something. Next! Chibi Chibi Moon! <laughs> Runatic, it's your turn to pump candle. <laughs> I'm seeing both. I'm seeing both keeps and eats. What do you mean? What the heck is this? It's Chibi Chibi Moon. It's Chibi Chibi. Cute hair, cute outfit. I say keep. She's so cute. She's so ridiculously, impossibly, horribly, terribly cute. She is so cute. She makes me insane. She is so cute. This is 100% a keep. What do you mean, Chibi Chibi? No, get out of here. 
she's a keep. She's a keep. Replace the- uh, No, we're keeping- We're keeping my big fat baby bow. <laughs> she is annoying. I- I agree that she can be a little bit annoying, but kid, it's okay if they're really cute, if they're a little annoying, right? That's just part of the experience. <laughs> this stream is just an aqua slander session. Don't worry. There's gonna be more that are up for adoption. I promise. <laughs> I got a feeling we are keeping all but two kids. Th there are definitely gonna be some kids we won't be keeping. But we're keeping we're keeping Tippy Tippy Moon. We need another girl to round it out. We need another girl. But next up, we have Manish Boy from JoJo's Bizarre Ex Adventures uh, Star Crusaders. genuinely like this is the episode that broke me this is the episode of jojo where i was like i can't watch it i watched all of part one i watched all of part two i was trucking through part three this is where i i started breaking the cracks started forming i was like i can't do this anymore i did make it a good bit further than this episode but this th this was the cracks and absolutely 100 percent, this baby is up for adoption <laughs> Send him to Detroit. <laughs> Gotta go. You th you thought that you thought it was funny. I'm not gonna lie, it just did not hit for me. It did not make me laugh. It just made me uncomfortable. I did not like it. <laughs> Send him to Gary, Indiana. I don't care where he goes, but he's not coming home with me. He's got to get out of here. That's true, he's a baby with a stand. He's too dangerous. <laughs> it also, I don't know, it didn't really make me want to gag. It was just, I just didn't like it. I didn't like it. As the Marines do, yeet us, delete us. What's the Gary, Indiana joke? What's so bad about Gary, Indiana? Can, can Araraki not draw dogs and babies? I would appreciate that as well. No more dogs, no more babies. It's awful. It's absolutely ter terrible. It's hell on earth. Scary Gary's the worst city in America. It's a forgotten place. Have you been there? Empty ghost town. Bad place. Someone hasn't been to Gary, Indiana. I've never been. It's in Indiana? <gasps> wow. It's not doing that great. I clearly it's got a terrible reputation. No urban planning? Runatic, should we take a should we take a field trip to Gary, Indiana? It sounds like our kind of place, to be honest. Gary was the murder capital. The murder. Gary was the murder capital of the world for years. <laughs> I can't talk today. Gary was the murder capital of the world for years. Heck yeah, sure, why not? No, we gotta take the babies with us. Clearly, we gotta take the babies with us. You'll cook for everyone? Tuna, I hope. Though I actually ate too much tuna today. <laughs> It's too much tuna. I wish I could do that accent. <laughs> Gonna need your biggest guns. Just bring, bring, bring your mechas. You'll stay behind and catch up on paperwork. <gasps> well, I guess somebody does have to mind the office. 
First kidnapping, now child endangerment? Diabolical. Uh, how did I manage to eat too much tuna? Well, I came home and I got some rice out of the rice maker and I put tuna in it. And then I put some extra sharp white cheddar cheese in it and I ate it. And it was very yummy. And then I thought, I want more. So I got another bowl of rice and I put more tuna in it. <laughs> and then I put the cheese in it. And about like one fourth through the bowl, I was like, I'm full. But I didn't stop. No. No, I didn't. I kept eating. And I completed that bowl. And then... I tweeted that that was too much tuna. <laughs> Riveting storytelling from yours truly, Renews. Chubby Ruse? Eh, I, you better, you guys better still love me even if I get chubby. What's wrong with you? It's like the Shania Twain song. You better say the dress fits just right. Even when it's a little too tight. <laughs> No, 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 wait, 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 not inflation, not inflation, that's not what I meant, not, that's not what I meant, that's not what I meant. <laughs> please, please, I am begging you. <laughs> Anything but that. <laughs> Flatten me like a pancake before you do that. Flatten me like a pancake first, please. <laughs> No Ruberry! No Ruberry! Love handles on Rimmy? If I keep eating too much tuna, maybe. Maybe. The new Donald Ma- Oh gosh. This is- Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say this name slow. Mahan- Mahanahan's Child Clown Outlet? Question mark? I have, no, I have no idea. I'm so sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Artists have entered chat and now artists have exited chat. They've exited. <laughs> Mer Mercury. I'm not gonna get mercury poisoning. Get out of here. I'm not gonna get mercury poisoning. <laughs> they exited to start wor working on Runeberry? No. 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 <laughs> Murked by Mercury. Why not? Why not get Mercury poisoning? I just... I, you would have to eat a lot. Actually, I've... I don't know. It's really... It's not a non-zero chance that I could get Mercury poisoning. Mercury Rising. Hold on, is that a book? Is that just a saying or is that a book? Oh, it's a movie? It's a movie? Red Rising! That's what I'm thinking of. That's, that's what I'm thinking of. I read Red Rising. I didn't like it. But I did read it. I didn't I didn't go on to finish the series because I didn't like Red Rising, but I did read it. <laughs> yes, that is what I was thinking of. Yeah, sorry. Can't remember how much tuna she's eaten. A common symptom of mercury poisoning. I just really like I just really like tuna. Alright. 
No, yeah, Witch of Mercury. I'm not, I don't have Mercury poisoning. I'm just a witch from Mercury. I'm just the Witch of Mercury. Call me Suleta. <laughs> and I'll, I'll squash you like a bug. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> fatty tuna and beer. I'm not a big beer person, but I do love fatty tuna. All right, I think it's about time that we talk about a very classic anime baby. One that it would be absolutely egregious if we did not include on this list. We have to talk about Reborn. From Katsukyo Hitman Reborn. Now, as you guys know, this is one of my favorite series of all time. <laughs> what is that? This is the greatest hitman in all, the, in all of Italy. He works for the Mafia family, the Vongola family. <laughs> Ribo! Uh, yeah. Also, definitely a grown man. Actually is a grown man, not a real baby, is a fake baby. And even if he was a real baby, Pardon my language, but reborn is an reborn is an mf'er. I don't even know what else to say. Auto yeet, one hundred percent. I cannot with this man. I cannot with this man. He failed the baby test. He failed the tutor test. He failed everything. He gets yeeted. Reborn hate. He is a criminal. <laughs> I actually do kind of hate Reborn. <laughs> I mean, I like Reborn. I do, I kind of like Reborn, but I also hate Reborn. I hate, I hate him. He gets, he's up for adoption. <laughs> yeah, he's a tutor. He's a home tutor. <laughs> he's gonna, te he teaches people how to become mafia bosses through terror. <laughs> You want to know why I don't like Reborn? I don't like Reborn for the same reasons that I don't like Uruhara. <laughs> it's that... I don't know, it's that character trope, man. It, it bothers me. I don't like... I don't like this type of character. I don't like it. I don't like it. They withhold information. They manipulate people. They act like goofy little dudes, but they're not goofy little dudes. They're not goofy little dudes. They're just pretenders. <laughs> what do you mean acts like me? I would never do that. I would never do that. I agree that Uruhara is a douche. <laughs> I, I think Reborn is too. No, I would, I'm not like that at all. I'm not like that at all. Thank you. But there's another character from the same series that we have to talk about. Which is Lambo. You see, Lam Lambo is a baby. This is a real baby. Why are you guys saying yeet? Get out of here. <laughs> Why are you saying yeet right now? Flattening and crushing are in behavior. Well, I, I don't want, I don't want, shut up. Eat more trout. I like trout. I like other fish plenty. I just like tuna the best. This is a cute little baby. He, Oh wait, I forget what his family name is. It's so stupid because it's like Bo the Bovino family or something because he's like a cow. That's his hair. He's got a little afro and he wears a little cow outfit. And he's so freaking cute. And he really likes bombs and explosions. And he's a little bit of a crybaby. Tell me why you are yeeting him. We already got Mamuyu. Never too many muyos! Tell me why you're yeeting him. Too dangerous? No, he's totally tameable. Totally tameable. 
We just gotta take his his bazookas and his grenades away from him. And just keep him away from the explosives, he'll be fine. What do you mean ugly? He's literally the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. <gasps> Annoying and a crybaby? He's a, he's a baby! He's literally a baby. Literally a baby. Yeah, he's got a time travel bazooka. Everyone hates Lombo. I don't. I love Lombo. I love him. And so, guess where he goes? He's being adopted. We're gonna put him down here. Lombo's being adopted. Yay, welcome to the family! Yay! <laughs> what do you mean a mistake? Can you even keep up with that many kids? Yeah, I've got demon arms that can help me. You know. Like the ones that come out and hold my microphone for me. They can help me with the babies. <laughs> you will die braver than most. <laughs> yeah, I'll get some pointers from Uruka. I'll get some pointers from Uruka. Are you selling them by the pound or by the cut? Listen. <laughs> My eye went crazy. <laughs> My eye went crazy. Yeah, this is nothing compared to 400 cubs. I think it's about time we go back to Dragon Ball. Keeper. I'm not even gonna play games with you guys. This is an obvious keeper. Son Goku, one of the cutest anime babies of all time. Literally one of the cutest anime babies of all time. Yeah, we'll just keep him. We hate the moon anyways. Screw the moon. Two metal fingers to the moon. We don't even like the moon, okay? Actually, you know what? I want to put him in front because he's so freaking cute. Cute! <laughs> Unfortunately, Count Seven died in a freak accident. Don't bother looking into it. I assure you, he did not just run away from the hideous children. Well, of course he didn't run away from the hideous children because there are no hideous children here. I see nothing but beautiful, lovely, adorable, perfect little children who any, any person in their right mind would love unconditionally and immediately. And also because I told them to. I'll take him. Do you have a bit blonde? <laughs> you gotta wait a few years for that. Don't worry. He, he, don't worry. It, it'll, he'll start off dark headed, but you can get a blonde version later. <laughs> Before or after head trauma? Either. He's mine either way. Mine. My baby. I don't have enough money to support this many kids. We'll make it work. Hey, I know, I know times will get tough. And sometimes outside factors like finances will put a strain on our relationship and make it hard uh, to, to provide for all of these children. But that's why we have each other. We will persevere. We will cut corners. We will come up with creative solutions. We will power through together. You don't have to do it alone. I'm right here. 
<laughs> we're only paid in moi, so good luck, I guess. <laughs> Calling Grand Rooney to help babysit. Yeah, we don't even have to pay for daycare. We can just drop them all off with Grand Rooney. Yes, they were used as in a stream, so we can definitely write them up as business expenses. One hundred genius. I'm doing it right now. You're gonna get a third job. I think that's smart. Hey, I have two jobs. Maybe I'll get a third job. My last third job didn't go so well, as you guys unfortunately know. But maybe I'll try a different third job. <laughs> Get the kids something nice. Ah! <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for the supa. Yay! With all this, I think I think we can afford to adopt another baby. <laughs> should should we get to it? Next baby. It's little Pez Capone from One Piece. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> what do you mean, yeet with a cannon? Pez has done nothing wrong. Pez has done nothing but be a cute, adorable little baby. Do you guys really think he's ugly? He is growing a mustache. Look, he's very, he's very manly. He's very manly. <laughs> Don't you understand? <laughs> if only to steal him from his father. His father's a good dad though. Honestly, I'm not opposed to just returning Pez to his parents. Because uh, Beige, is honestly a good papa. And Chiffon is a good mama. The bed that baby is hideous. But it's it's he's he's cute in his own way. He's got pink hair and he's got this cigar pacifier and he's so chubby and he's got his round little nose and he's already he's already growing a little mustache. Yeah, he's ugly cute, exactly. It is a baby! It is a baby. Same Pez. We have to turn- we have to give him back? <laughs> we better get Senior Pink. I should've put- I should've put Senior Pink on here. I should've. You're right. What was I thinking? He's not smoking. It's a pacifier. Don't you understand? Refund immediately. Okay. You know what? This is what we're gonna do with Pez. Because Pez has very good parents. We're gonna send Pez back to his parents. We're gonna pretend like... I never kidnapped him. How's that? <laughs> Return to Cinder. Does that satisfy you? Yay? You like that? Oh, that made you happy? Phew. No, I never said that. I'm not a kidnapper. I never said that. You guys are crazy. You're just hearing things now. Currently in Gary, Indiana. Anybody buying a listen? <laughs> Baby crocodile, chill out, man. You want to grow up to be the pirate king? You got to be behaving. Phase deals in children explains Muyu and Jelly. I should have put Muyu on this list too. <laughs> Actually, that would have been really funny. I didn't think about that. I should have put Muyu on the list. Would you guys keep or eat Muyu? Wait, maybe I can do it real quick. Oh, you know what? I actually might have a picture of her somewhere already on my computer.
Oh, you know what? I know what to do. Hold on. I know what to do. <laughs> all right. All right. We're making it happen. We're making it happen. say no how are you gonna say no isn't she already adopted by dizzy i guess that's true <laughs> yeet how dare you i am strong yeet <laughs> what Dizzy would appreciate you taking their kid. Okay, I don't want to start. I don't want to start drama within the company. So I suppose I'll return. I'll return Muyu to Cinder as well. Fine. Poo poo magoos can't have any fun. Can't have fun around here. All right. Let's talk about Pepe from Shugo Chara. Muyu hiding behind me? Oh, that would be funny. I can't believe you guys are hating on her right now. She's so cute. Look at her. She's so cute. This how are you, this isn't obscure. It's Shugo Chara. That's not obscure. Nobody puts Muyu in a corner. Woony woos, keep all yeet. You don't know most of them, really? I tried to pick only. I tried not. I genuinely, I genuinely, I genuinely tried not to be like too, too obscure. You can get really obscure with anime babies if you want to. This, this baby was born of the desire to return to babyhood so your parents will love you again. <laughs> That's what this baby <laughs> represents. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> it is Ranma one half. I love Ranma one half. I don't remember the babies. I don't remember that part though. It's been a really long time since I read it. It's not obscure, it's just old. Most people <laughs> who watch those are in hag range. Well, that might explain it. Anyways, Pepe gets. Pepe, she's coming home. She's coming home with me. Coming home with mama. Toss this one in the wood chipper. What's wrong with you? Why? Why Why all this baby hate? What baby hurt you? Oh yeah, Nar Naraku had a baby for him. Oh ho 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 ho. In fact, <laughs> Naraku did have a baby for him. Otherwise known as the infant. Oh raiders! Welcome, 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 raiders! It's a bug raid! Hello, Dizzy, thank you for raiding! I hope you had a really good stream, Dizzy! Dizzy love! We're talking about anime babies. I'm deciding if, if I will adopt them or if I will put them up for adoption. Yeah, that baby in Rama one half. Baby... Haposa. Wait! What are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, so the ones in the crib are babies that I have decided I'm taking home with me. 
And then the other babies, we're putting them up for adoption. Baby Nell, I wanted to put up for adoption and the Runatics literally pitched a fit. The Runatics had a temper tantrum. And so the Runatics have sole custody of Baby Nell up there in the corner. And Dizzy, I promise I made no attempts to steal your child, Muyu. I would never do that. I have nothing but respect for my senpai. And I would never, ever steal Muyu from you. Beezle Bub is peak. That's the very first one. That's the first one that we kept. Was Baby Beal. Since you like Baby so much, have you read Kindergarten Wars? A manga about uh, professional assassins babysitting the kids of the elites. Uh, I think I've seen stuff from it, but I've not, I've not read it. Is this an extreme, extreme yeet? You guys don't want to keep the infant from Inuyasha? <laughs> She's probably in better hands here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everybody within my domain is within very good hands. There is no safer place to be than here at the Rooney Roos channel where you can relax and trust and let go all of your inhibitions without hesitation, with open hearts. <laughs> you need an adult help? You're scarred. <gasps> How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Not Rooney's home for gifted youngsters, but these are a bunch of gifted youngsters, aren't they? Okay, I actually do agree with you guys. That baby Naraku's gotta go. We're not, we're not, we're not keeping this guy. He's gotta go. First of all, only kind of a baby. He talks way too much. He's gotta go. <laughs> he always had to go, but he was... <laughs> In his, in his, uh, his adult form, yeah, I like that design. It's a, it's a good design, but very, very evil. Very, very, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Everyone's like, oh, Sashomaru, oh, Sashomaru, oh, Sashomaru. Sashomaru does nothing for me, but yeah, Naraku is kind of hot. <laughs> oh, we have to do, uh, I almost forgot, we have to do the Wheel of Weep. So for those of you who may have come in in the raid, maybe you've never been raided into one of my streams before, but every time we get a raid here, we spin what is called the Wheel of Weeb. And this is a fun little wheel where it may land on a dud, which means you guys get nothing, or very generously, as you can see, the colored spots here are the reward spots. So as you can see, you are much more likely to get a reward than a dud. And if it lands on a reward, then I'll say a silly little phrase for you. Are you guys ready for the wheel of weeb? <laughs> Look at that, you guys won again. You guys won again. All right. Oh. I get so embarrassed to say these. It's so embarrassing. I need to get rid of the, the wheel of weeb was such a terrible idea. I'm so embarrassed. I don't wanna do it. Can't you guys cut me some slack? Can't you cut me some slack, Runatics? I already had to say this twice in a stream really recently. I shouldn't have to say it again. It's so, so embarrassing. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Not the gift itself, no. I hope your cat goes number two in the bathroom again. <laughs> all right, all right. 
Um... Stupid, stupid, cute! Oh, so embarrassing. But now I actually do have to do something embarrassing. I hate the gifted sub song. Oh, okay. Customer Johnson, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Thank you. Gifted membership. Oh, gifted memberships. I always say the wrong thing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> for the gifted memberships. Gifted memberships. Who? Gifted memberships. Hooray. Gifted memberships. Hooray. Hooray. Gifted memberships. Wow. Make sure you say thanks now. Gifted memberships today. Hooray. Thank you very much. Wait, there's a song, yeah, there's a song that I actually know. That was a random thing that I did this one time, I don't know why, something just possessed me, and I sang a song for some reason, but actually, yeah, actually, no, there's not a song. <clears throat> yeah, there's never been a song before. That was a, that was a one-time weird thing. Crazy that you happened to be here on the stream where, where I did it. Yeah, that's crazy. Because I definitely have never done that before. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> never forget this. I know it was my idea, but I really thought it was a good idea. I really thought it was a good idea. It, it genuinely seemed like a good idea at the time. You're not fooling anyone. Five gifts minimum. Okay, okay. Thank you for the gifted memberships, Rectal Splash. Gifted memberships, who? Gifted memberships, Ray. Gifted memberships, who? Who? Gifted memberships, wow. Make sure you say thanks now. Gifted memberships, today. Hooray! And also, thank you, Heretic, for the gifted memberships. Gifted memberships too. Gifted memberships three. Gifted memberships who day who day. Gifted memberships well. Make sure you say thanks now. Gifted memberships two day who day. <laughs> Can you sing my gifted membership song in an? Oh, it's too late. I already did it. I'm so sorry. Wow, I didn't read that. I'm so sorry. Maybe next time. <laughs> Boar, thank you for the gifted membership. Scammed. <laughs> yeah, you got scammed. <laughs> Imagine getting scammed by Rooney Ruse. A dream come true, really. You should be very grateful. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, the Onesan voice? I'm not good at that one. Let's see. <clears throat> <laughs> Wait, I have to pra- hold on, let me practice. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> gifted memberships, who? Gifted memberships, Ray. Gifted memberships, who day? Who day? Gifted memberships, wow, make sure you say thanks now. Gifted memberships today? Hooray. Was that okay? <laughs> I tried. <laughs> was was that Tascaruni? <laughs> I had to I had to mute I had to mute because to get into the Onesan voice I had to do the the you know the A R A A R A. I had to do the A R A A R A <laughs> in order to do it. <laughs> Thank you, Geeky, for five gifted subs. Now, now which I feel like I need to do something special again. Requesting whisper version for yours? All right. Okay, whisper. I'll do whisper version next time you do it. You spelling it out like we're dogs? But no, because it's a reward. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta do, I gotta do, thank you very much for the gifted stuff. I gotta do Geeky's first. Okay, let's do, um, we'll just try to do Geeky's. We'll do Geeky's fast. 
I've been getting really good at saying it really, really fast. Okay. Give to memberships too. Give to memberships three. Give to memberships two. Hooray! Hooray! Give to memberships well. Make sure the thing sound. Give to memberships two. Hooray! Hooray! What about a lowly er to be voice version? I think I have done that before, but I can definitely do that again too. I'm I'm getting so fast at it. I still mess up a little bit on the make sure you say thanks now. That part's hard to say super super fast. <laughs> See slowly? That just makes me want to do it more. Okay, I'll do the with. Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you. I, I'm, I'll definitely do lowly then. <laughs> okay, I got to do whisper version first. Okay, let me get, I'm going to eat the mic. <clears throat> gifted memberships. Ooh, gifted memberships. Ray. Gifted memberships. Hooray. Hooray. Gifted memberships. Wow. Make sure you say thanks now. Give the memberships today. All right. Yeah? Was it okay? <laughs> Should I have gotten out my ASMR mic? Actually, it's too, it's too much of a pain in the butt to get out. All right, now I have to do a chibi version. <clears throat> this is apt because it's a baby. It's a baby. So I gotta get my baby, baby voice. Give the memberships, who? Give the memberships, Ray. Give the memberships, who? Ray, who? Ray. Give the memberships, whoa. Make sure you say thanks now. Give the memberships today, Ray. <laughs> So keep or eat. You guys better keep me. You guys better keep me. Rooney with the best gift scan. <laughs> I'm having to work for this, okay? If it was a good gift spam, then I would get gifts. I would get gifts. I would get gifts and I would do absolutely nothing for it. I would do nothing. I would do nothing. Do you want to know how many times I've sang this song at this point? And every time I sing it, I become more aware of how cringe it is. It's, it's exponential. <laughs> Can you do smoker? I'd have to lift my voice again. Not enough? Not enough? Yeah, someone should keep track. I haven't actually kept track. You need to keep singing it until you become Grand Rooney. <laughs> Otherwise, the timeline will be disjunct. Wait, you might have a point there. I've actually done, I've done the death metal voice before. I have done the death metal voice before. Okay. Do you guys want to get back to like babies or something? I think, oh, I only have, I only have two more babies. I only have two more babies. You guys, do you guys recognize this baby? Do you recognize this baby? <gasps> this may this baby makes me unfathomably happy. True, you are earning your keep here. Thank you. Where TF baby guts at? I, I've, I've not read Berserk. I don't think I would like it, to be honest. It seems sad. I can't believe you guys are gonna say yeet. Fed to louse, get out of here. <laughs> no, eat the baby. I would kill louse. I would rip out his throat if he even thought about it. I love this orc baby so much. I don't even know what to do. This orc baby makes me insane. I'm at, I know I've said this all before. You aren't surprised. You've heard me say this. You've heard me say this 
multiple times. This orc baby is so incredibly cute to me that my brain melts. I don't even know what to do with myself. I feel like I could die. I could just lay on the ground and die when I think about how cute this work baby is. Not anime, but Winx Club? Ever see it, Baby Bloom? Uh, I, yeah, I did. I was a little bit into Winx Club, but I never got super, super into it. I was more into Witch. Were any of you guys into Witch? W-I-T-C-H? Yeet before it grows up? Stop. I think the orcs are very cute. Yeah, I picture when he grows up and he's going to be cute. Because he's my child. Keep just for you. Just keep it away from us. You guys do not, I just, I don't, I can't fathom. How do you look at this face? Like, how do you look at this face and not melt? I'm melting. Oh, you guys liked Witch? Yes, let's go. It's been so long. I don't even know if I could remember everybody's name. So, so it was Will, Irma, uh, Tatiana? Oh, I forget. Okay, the blonde girl, her name started with a C, but I forget. I want to say Claire, but I know that's wrong. And then H. Hey, Lynn? Did I get any of those names right? <laughs> but yeah, they were like books. They were, it was a book series and they were like those types of books where it was mostly a book, but there were some comic pages. And then I think they made it into an animated show too. The baby is cute, but most orcs grow up to be a certain way. If he does grow up to be that way, <laughs> then keep. I will raise him to be a perfect, perfect little orc. Big orc. No, I'm sorry. Baby, baby buggy and baby crocodile will not be on the list. They did and it was great. I So I don't think I ever actually watched the animation. I only read the books, but I really liked it. If I remember correctly, Irma was my favorite, which is funny because she was the water one and I usually gravitate more towards other elements, but I liked Irma. I liked when she had a crush on that guy and she turned him into a frog. <laughs> I was like, mood. Barely ever watched it, no cable TV, read it. Yeah, I read, I read it too. I feel like it can't, cause the thing about baby buggy and baby crocodile is they're not like actually, it's not like ba it's not like the baby version of buggy or the baby version of crocodile. It's just like, if you took adult crocodile and adult buggy and like changed them into babies. So I feel like they exist in this weird in-between reality that cannot be categorized. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> How about Baby Queen? Blender. What is Goku then? But Goku, Goku actually is baby Goku like in the manga. You know what I mean? But I'm saying specifically like the images that you guys have of baby crocodile and baby buggy. It's not like them as babies in the context of the show. It's like if the adult characters were shrunk into babies, you know? I mean, like, Buggy still got his facial hair. Crocodile's got his scar and he's missing a hand. You understand? Do you understand? <laughs> no, but Bonnie's fruit would actually turn them into their actual baby forms. They wouldn't just be, like, they would actually just be babies. It wouldn't be, it would be different. 
And also, I really hope that happens. Also, I really hope you just put that idea in my head and now I'm gonna go insane because now I am thinking completely about Bonnie against Cross Guild and turning all of Cross Guild into babies. And then you would have baby Mihawk and Crocodile and Buggy like all there in the same room and I think I would die. I actually think I would, I don't even know what would happen. I don't think I would survive that. Actually, it's a bad idea. Actually, we need to tell Oda not to do that because I would not survive. I would not survive. What if she turns them old instead? I'm okay with that too. <laughs> I'm okay with that too. Okay. Baby orc, obviously. But we have one more, we have one more like really iconic anime baby. And I actually haven't seen anybody like, I haven't seen anybody like, where, why haven't you done this baby yet? Which has actually really surprised me. Do you guys know who I'm like a really, really iconic anime baby? Koenma? You know what? Actually, I didn't put Koenma on here, but I should have. Koenma is actually a baby. I would not. Koenma goes in up for adoption, though. I like Koenma, but I'm not raising Koenma. Absolutely not. <laughs> Why haven't you done this baby yet? I see what you did there. <laughs> oh man, I should have put Togepi. I would adopt Togepi. All right. It's Ted Templeton, y'all. It's Ted Templeton from Boss Baby. Come on. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> you know what? Keep ye on site. Yeah, it's my favorite anime, Boss Baby. <laughs> this is why you got accepted into fans. <laughs> shh, shh. <laughs> You're about to unsub. <laughs> no, don't ups don't 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 unsub. Listen, it's a good anime. Long arm eating into a bug hole in all times. <laughs> Boss Baby deserves a poll. Actually. I have a surprise for you guys. I have a surprise for you guys. When it comes to Ted Templeton, this is actually not a matter of adopting or not adopting. I have been looking over the business structure of my demon army and I feel like perhaps we could use a little more direction a little more management and so I have hired Ted Templeton to be the manager of the paper pushers. That's right, Runatics, meet your new boss. <laughs> I don't understand why you're so upset. I talked to Ted and he said he's actually totally okay with you guys wearing your minion costumes. Cause I, I usually want you guys to be in business casual, but he said he totally doesn't mind if you guys wanna wear your minion costumes to work every day, so. I mean, I thought I thought you guys would would like this unsubbed. Well, at least things will run more smoothly with someone competent in charge. See, see, some of you guys see it. What what next, Stuart Little? <laughs> King of the Hill is a way better. And I do like King of the Hill. <laughs> what? 
thought you guys would be so happy. All right, well, here's the thing, here's the thing. Every time there's a shift in, you know, power structure, in a business, you know, there's a little bit of a learning curve. But I think you guys will get used to it. I think you'll be very happy in the end. Is he willing to negotiate a pay raise more than my former employer? Maybe. Yeah, you'll have to take that up with Ted, man. Take it up with Ted. Ted has a lot of influence over me. You see, the thing is, is, is if you can convince Ted, you can convince me. Because I cannot say no to this baby. This is one of the cutest, I've said it before, this is one of the cutest animated babies of all time. Across all medias. Ted Templeton from Boss Baby is so excruciatingly cute to me. That I cannot say no to anything that he asks me. So all I gotta do is convince Ted. <laughs> Unionize. <laughs> it's better than the orc, at least the orc is just a baby. <laughs> How are you a baby with a receding hairline? A lot of babies have receding hairlines. It just hasn't all grown in yet. <laughs> Your opinion is wrong. <gasps> Your opinion is wrong. Rude. <laughs> I'm about to commit so many OSHA violations. Uh, yeah, go for it. I support you. Hello, boss. Yeets through cannon. <laughs> well, you know what? I feel like this has been a very successful endeavor. Runatics are Sigma Chads. We don't need a leader. Warng. Once again, warng. <laughs> warng! <laughs> yeah, I think we've had a very, a very productive, productive stream today. Thank you guys so much for joining me to discuss, uh, anime babies! Anime babies exactly as advertised. Isn't that right, Runatics? <laughs> Yay! Da, 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 da. <laughs> it wasn't clickbait. It was right there in the title, my friends. <laughs> the little letters. Yippee! Da, 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 da. Sure. Da, 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 da. Mm hmm. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Yippee! Da, 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 da. <laughs> Good night. <gasps> no! 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 Where are you finding these images? Not baby Dracula Mihawk. Not baby Dracula Hawkeye's Mihawk. Is he gonna slice me with your room? Is he gonna slice me with your room? Am I just a frog in the well? Croak, croak, croak. Baby cross guild is now complete. <laughs> Not worthy. <laughs> oh no, he's he's <laughs> he's roasting me. No, don't go. There are only three more phase dreams today. I won't be able to work without phase women yapping in the background. I think. I think somebody sh is probably streaming now, right? Let's look at the schedule. Uh, it looks like, uh, it looks like Leah starts in an hour. Is Ember streaming? I don't think Dizzy is live because Dizzy raided in, into us. Yeah? Oh, it's just been dead. Is that why it says that she's still streaming? Boo. Gosh, 
gosh, there usually is somebody streaming at 10. Yeah, we could waiting room. I'm debating if... Hmm. I'm debating how tired I am. <laughs> I could, I could keep, I could maybe keep streaming until, uh, until Amy and Leah start. Don't push yourself. <laughs> You're allowed to go to bed. I know, but I do feel bad. It feels weird to not raid into a live stream. I, I'm, I'm at a kind of busy time slot, so it really, I feel like it it doesn't happen that often. But then at the same time, I do feel like there's been a lot of times that I end stream and then I'm like, there's no streams right now? There's no streams? <laughs> I think I can right now do a VOD. Yeah, I think, I think ordinarily I probably would just stream for another hour, but I have been kind of sick, so <laughs> I am gonna go. <laughs> Raid into the DMC VOD, what DMC VOD? <laughs> Don't force yourself to stream, there are VODs for a reason. Thank you, Geeky! <laughs> Geeky, Geeky changed their mind. They said no, don't go. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll probably, I'll probably just wait. I'll wait, wait. I'll wait the way to boom. I'll, I'll wait the way to boom. You should get some rest now. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. A way to wear the womb. The way the womb, yeah, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait the way the womb. Yeah. Yeah. And then what else was the womb? Mom, 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 mom. Ah. Tis bittersweet. Uh, I am not streaming tomorrow. Ooh, I think I'm not streaming th Thursday either. So I will see, I will, there's a small possibility I'll do a gorilla on Thursday, maybe not, depends. But I'll definitely see you guys on Friday because we are doing another session of the world's worst shonen ever. <laughs> no, don't leave us. <laughs> I'm, I told you guys I'm weak to groveling. Don't grovel. I'm weak. You hurt me. Uh, so we'll be talking about villains. We'll add some villains to our worst shonen ever written series. <laughs> uh, that'll be definitely on Friday. Maybe a gorilla on Thursday. Definitely nothing tomorrow. But until then... For now, I must say farewell. Give glory to the root. Give glory to the ruins for my love and affection is forever with you. <laughs> Please leave us. Get lots of rest. Okay, okay. Bye bye.